Hi, this is a short tutorial on how to use the free software OBS, OBS to record playing back your music composition through your program of choice. So the purpose of this is to record both the video and the audio in one nice simple file. So here we have the OBS software open. Down here under the mixer, most important thing to look at is desktop audio. I found for my music, my software, having that hovering around the bottom end of the yellow works quite well. Feel free though to give that a try for yourself. We then need to look at our sources. So I'll just clear that out. If I hit the add button, the capture we want is the window capture. And then we just create a new one. You can call it something useful. I'm only doing a quick one so I won't bother. Under the list of windows, this shows every program that is running at the moment. So I'm going to select Sibelius and then you can see it shows you a little preview of that window. So we'll just hit OK. We are now ready to start capturing our music playing. So I hit Start Recording and then go back into my software and press play. You may have noticed a few little scratches and pops in the audio, that's actually because I'm running two versions of the OBS software and recording both at once. So that shouldn't happen when you normally do this. If it does, it just suggests, as you can see here, encoding overloaded. So I'm going to stop the recording there. And what that does is it sits there, finishes stopping the recording, and then I'll be able to either view that video directly or upload it to YouTube as it is. I can put it into my favorite video editing software if I want to, maybe just to trim the start a bit. Now to find that video that you have just saved, if we go across to the file and show the profile, sorry, show recordings, and that will open the file where your recording has been saved. If we look up here, it's an MKV video file, one minute and four seconds, so it's the most recent one sitting there. So that's the very quick look at how to use the OBS software. If you go to their website, there is a lot of useful information about it. You can get the latest version, there are tutorials, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much.